Hello and welcome from My Daily Planners. So far, I showed you Word, Note, and Shape stickers. Three out of four main features that Sticker Wizard has. This video is about web stickers, so if you haven't seen the main video about what the Sticker Wizard is actually, click here first, please. In the next video, I will show you how to get, install, and set up the wizard, I promise. These five icons in your planner that are present in all pages are regarding the wizard. So the first one is Note, then Word, then Shape, and finally this one is for web stickers. Click on the link, confirm, we are asked for the phrase or word that you would like to search images about. If we type the simple cat, we will get a bunch of images stickers with cats. As you scroll, searching for the best one, you will see the load more button. Click on it and then click done. You will get a new batch of stickers. I should know that Wizard searches specifically for free stickers or to be precise, free for personal use. It even tries it best to search for images without watermark, but in some cases it, it misses. Wizard searches from other websites like Google, Pinterest, stock websites, etc. Some images will have background, some are already transparent. If you click on an image that has background and if system can recognize the object, it will offer you an option with and without a background. Note that this is an iOS system feature it cannot be tweaked, controlled, etc. It's not going to be perfect every time and sometimes it won't be possible to remove the background, in which case you will get notification to copy original image. But that is it to it. With web stickers you can search the, for the web for good quality free stickers, which is easier than going to the Google images and looking for them as there, there can be many unrelated results. With web stickers feature it's more convenient to import stickers into your planner as they are copied by default and you need only to paste them. This video is shorter than the rest but not less important. Now let's go with the next one which is not that exciting but necessary. How to get all of this on your iPad. Click here and don't forget to subscribe for future videos because I have more tricks under my sleeve. Ciao!